para sahabat saudara-saudara dimanapun anda berada selamat natal selamat merayakan hari kelahiran sang juru selamat kita Yesus Kristus pada momentum perayaan natal 2021 takta suci Vatikan Roma melalui Bapak Suci Paus Francisco pada momentum perayaan Natal 2021 Paus Francisco menekankan kepada kita manusia bahwa kita harus rendah hati jadi pesan penting yang disampaikan oleh Paus Francisco dalam momentum perayaan Natal 2021 ini melalui video yang melalui God does not seek power and might Instagram at Franciscus. Love and interior littleness. Paus Franciscus mengucapkan selamat Natal. At Christmas. Natal yang baik dan suci. Of littleness. Bapa suci kita juga mengharapkan. Adanya reuni keluarga. Ini sangat indah selalu, tetapi ada juga kesadaran bahwa Tuhan datang pada kita. Sehingga Paus Francis sangat mengharapkan kepada umat manusia. Masing-masing kita harus berkata dalam hati kita bahwa Tuhan datang kepada kita. Amid our ordinary lived experience, he wants to do extraordinary things. He is a message of immense hope. Jesus asks us to rediscover and value the little things in life. If he is present with us, what else do we need? Ramat untuk memecahkan cermin kesombongan yang luar biasa untuk melihat diri kita. Let us stop complaining. Bapa suci juga sangat mengharapkan kita harus memandang Yesus, memandang cakrawala, memandang Tuhan yang datang kepada kita dan menyentuh hati kita dengan kegelisahan itu yang membawa kita kepada pengharapan. Also in our own littleness, in our experience of feeling weak, frail. Inadequate, perhaps even messed up. Dear brother or sister, if, as in Bethlehem, the darkness of light overwhelms you, if you feel surrounded by cold indifference, if the hurt you carry inside cries out, you are of little account, you are worthless, you will never be loved the way you want. Tonight, if you feel this, God answers back, Tonight, he tells you, I love you just as you are. Your lightness does not frighten me. Your failings do not trouble me. I became little for you to be your God. I became your brother. Dear brother, dear sister, don't be afraid of me. Find in me your measure of greatness. I am close to you. And one thing only do I ask. Trust me and open your heart to me. To accept littleness means something else as well. It means embracing Jesus in the little ones of today, loving him that is in the least of our brothers and sisters, serving him in the poor, those most like Jesus who was born in poverty. It is in them that he wants to be honored. On this night of love, may we have only one fear, that of offending God's love, hurting him by despising the poor with our indifference. Jesus loves them dearly, and one day they will welcome us to heaven. 
a poet once wrote, who has found the heaven below will fail of it above. Let us not lose sight of heaven. Let us care for Jesus now, caressing him in the needy, because in them he makes himself known. Let's gaze once again at the crib. Let's gaze once again at the crib and we see that at his birth Jesus is surrounded precisely by those little ones, by the poor. Who are they? The shepherds. They were the most simple people and closest to the Lord. They found him because they lived in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. They were there to work because they were poor. They had no timetables in life. Everything depended on the flock. They could not live where and how they wanted.